we are going to start we are going to start biomolecule chapter and the name of topic is enzyme so it is a very important part of the biomolecule chapter in which we study the different parts of enzyme so first we write the synopsis is related to the enzyme. that means what we have to study about the enzyme so first the definition of enzyme second history about the enzyme and what is the history of the enzyme how it invented how it nomenclature so it is a involved in the history of enzyme now third topic which is the some terminology related to the enzyme terminology means the term like what is mean of endo enzyme what is mean of exo enzyme then what is the mean of activation energy next term what is mean of substrate what is mean of product so these are the terms which are related to the enzyme and one also which is Turn over. Just turn over. Next number four. The chemical nature of chemical nature of engine. Then what is the chemical nature of the enzyme? We will discuss in the topic four. Number five, the enzyme reaction. How the enzyme works and then convert the substrate or reactant into the product. We will discuss in the topic five. Now the topic is six, the classification. of we also say that the, the classification or the nomenclature of enzyme after then the some other topic which is related to the enzyme activity so again we will see topic which is related to the enzyme first is the definition of enzyme second history around the enzyme third terminology in which endo enzyme exo enzyme activation energy substrate product and all the After then the chemical nature of enzyme, then enzyme reaction, then after then classification of enzyme. So first we take the definition of enzyme. So first, what is the definition of enzyme? You have to listen about the biocatalyst. The word biocatalyst means the activator which increases the rate of biochemical reaction, which increases the rate of chemical reaction. So, in case the enzyme is a special type of biocatalyst which increase the rate of reaction, increase the rate of reaction. What is the mean of rate of reaction? In how much substance, how much enzyme or we can say reactant convert into the product is the rate of reaction. So, the enzyme. The chemical which increases the rate of reaction, the chemical which reduces the requirement of activation energy in chemical reaction is called enzyme. The enzyme are refer especially for biocatalyst. It is generally used in the biochemical reaction. So it is about the definition of the enzyme. Again, repeat the definition in proper way. The chemical which increases the rate of reaction, especially which reaction which is present in animal. 
body, or we can say the reaction which is in the living organism. So it is the rate of reaction. Now, second, after definition, what biocatalysis? Biocatalyst is bio means biological. Organism catalyst is active with the rate of reaction. So it is the bifurcation of what biocatalyst. Now we discuss about the history. The word catalyst generally proposed by the Algerian person, but in case of enzyme, the word is used by the Pune. Okay, so enzyme word released by the Pune. Second, how the enzyme is invented. So in first, in 1860, Louis Pasteur generally used the word fermenter for this type of chemical means the chemical which fermented the some uh, byproduct. That time, the Louis Pasteur used the word fermenter. In 1867, the Pune word Pune used the word enzyme. Yeah. After that, Bachna in 1897. Extract the enzyme. Extract the enzyme from the yeast cell. Then extract the enzyme from the yeast cell. So again, it is a history which is very important for me purpose. First is who proposed the name of enzyme? Who name proposed the name of enzyme? Second, Bachner extract the enzyme from the yeast solution. So yeast. Which is gymnosine, or we can say the enzyme which is used in the fermentation, or the yeast generally use gymnose or gymnosis in the fermentation in which it converts the sugar into either alcohol and anything into the content. So it is the word used by the Bushner in 1897. Now, third, sum up in 1926. Okay. Extract the enzyme which is urease. Urease in crystalline form. So, summer in 1926, extract the enzyme which is urease in the crystalline form. Okay. So, in Bachner, it extracts from the yeast, but it is not in a crystalline form. The crystalline form enzyme is extracted by the summer in 1926, which is urease. Second, Summer also revealed that all enzyme is protein nature. All enzyme is in protein nature. That means the enzyme prepared with the help of protein. So it is proposed by the cell. So these are the some important points which you have to note down. First, Kony proposed the name. Second, Bachner in 1897 accept the enzyme from the yeast. Third, summer in 1920. Six, it extracts the enzyme in the crystalline form. The name of enzyme is for urease and also propose the enzyme is a protein component. So these are the still related. In next, we will take the sum term which related to the enzyme. Now the term which is end to end. The word referred to endo enzyme. Endo means in the cell. The two word and then exo enzyme. The exo word. Outside of the cell. So we write two words and then short definition. First, endoenzyme. Endoenzyme means in the cell. And second, exoenzyme means outside of the cell. So two different terms, which is different. Endoenzyme means the enzyme which is generally present or work in the cell. In the cell means 
so many reaction in plant photosynthesis in photosynthesis is the name of reaction which is dark reaction involve so many enzymes so in dark reaction like calvin benson cycle and hatcher scale cycle require lot of enzymes so all category of these type of enzymes called endo enzymes because all these enzymes work inside the cell so that's why we call it endo enzymes exactly the second example is respiration in respiration the enzyme which is used in the glycolysis krebs cycle and the electron transport chain all are involved in the endo enzyme so in short we can say that the endo enzyme is the enzyme which generally work or used inside the cell they are called the endo enzymes the good example in photosynthesis dark reaction in respiration the three events which is glycolysis then krebs cycle and then electron transport chain so these are the three examples of the endo enzyme very simple second we take the exo enzymes the enzyme which work or present in the outside the cell so some enzyme which is essential for digestion of food so they are called the exo enzymes so exo enzymes enzyme which present in the digestive system the enzyme which present in digestive system they are involved in the exo enzyme because they are outside of the cell so that's why we call the exo enzymes like lemon capsin clepsin so all are involved in the exo enzymes so we have to study about these two type of enzyme exo enzyme and the endo enzyme with their examples again the we endo enzyme enzyme means inside the cell we can take the example of any enzyme of photosynthesis and then the all enzyme enzyme which related to the respiration are involved in the endo second exo enzymes outside the cell all digestive enzymes like renin capsin trypsin thymotrypsin lipase pyrimidine all are the work outside the cell so they are called exo enzymes i think it is clear next we take the very common question which arises that how enzyme form what is the chemical nature of enzyme so very common question in this case that what is the chemical nature of enzyme so chemical nature of enzyme we can draw the very simple ray diagram it is the first is simple enzyme second is conjugate enzyme your conjugate enzyme conjugate enzyme also called follow enzyme so our topic next topic third topic which is the chemical nature of enzyme the two type of chemical nature first is the simple enzyme second is the conjugated complicated enzyme so first simple enzyme why they are called simple because all enzyme constituent by protein that means the enzyme is completely prepared by the protein they are called simple enzyme by capsin lysozyme are the some example which completely protein and they are called <coughs> sorry simple enzyme you yeah. second the conjugated enzyme the conjugated enzyme also called follow enzyme it is further divided into two part first is apo enzyme and second is cofactor 
So conjugated enzyme means the enzyme is prepared by the two different type of component. One enzyme, uh, one is the protein, and other is some other component. So that's why it is called conjugated enzyme. They are not purely proteins. Some other factor also joins with the enzyme. So it classified into two apo enzyme, and then second is a cofactor. Now cofactor is further divided into. First is inorganic. Second is prosthetic group, and last is co-enzyme. Again, repeat the type of co-enzymes. Co-enzymes. Also called the bolo enzymes means the enzyme which prepared by the protein and then some other factor. That time it is called conjugated enzyme or bolo enzyme. Now conjugated enzyme consists by the two part bolo enzyme and then cofactor. Bolo enzyme is the protein part. Bolo enzyme is protein part and then other part is constituted by the cofactor. Which are of three type. First is the inorganic prosthetic group, and then coenzyme. So it is a conjugated enzyme. So you can draw this Lie diagram of chemical nature of enzyme. It is a chemical nature of enzyme. Chemical nature of enzyme. Now next is. It is the enzyme formation. Now, in this formation, what is the important part in enzyme? The important part in enzyme is protein. We easily visualize that the important part of enzyme is a protein. So, very common question arises in your mind that how enzyme prepare, how enzyme synthesize, where enzyme synthesize. So, answer to this question is that the enzyme. Synthesized by protein plus cofactor. Now protein synthesizes in cytoplasm, and then cofactor it also present in cytoplasm. Here, now in cytoplasm. The protein synthesizing machinery is endoplasmic reticulum, which is rough endoplasmic reticulum plus ribosome. These are the two important factor to synthesize the protein for enzyme. Next, these four factor is joined with the enzyme which prepared by this machinery for enzyme. Enzyme. So we can say the all process in detail. Let me take the enzyme which is 
So library at my list. This is an enzyme which present in buccal cavity. Now this library at my list enzyme is it's a skeletal part which is proven. So we can draw the diagram. It's a nucleus. And these nucleus at first contain the thread which is called propagative network. Now these thread convert into the genetic material which is DNA. And these DNA prepare the three type of RNA which is mRNA then pRNA and then rRNA again repeat the three RNA first is mRNA second is pRNA and third is R so three type of RNA which prepare in the nucleoplasm in nucleus. Now, after the formation of these type of RNA, first of all, our RNA now travel and join with the endoplasmic reticulum. Here, yeah. so our RNA transfer. After the transfer of our RNA, the tRNA also transfer into the cytoplasm and then search the respective amino acid protein and at the end which is mRNA on the required basis it transfer into this machinery and prepare the protein so the protein is prepared as per requirement of slightly amylase by the mRNA mRNA is the code information of DNA that means the DNA informed to the mRNA that we go and prepare protein from the salivary amylase. So mRNA travel into the cytoplasm and prepare the protein for only the salivary amylase. Now after the formation of protein for the salivary amylase, the cofactor join and form the enzyme which is salivary amylase. So in short, we can say that the enzyme prepared under the influence and under the control of G. And G, which constructed by, prepared by, or the transfer their information in the form of mRNA. So when the mRNA transfer into the nucleoplasm to the cytoplasm, this mRNA causes or contains the information to the respective enzymes. So it is main explanation about the enzyme synthesis of formation. So again, repeat the synthesis of enzyme. The synthesis of enzyme completely depends or controlled by the DNA. DNA transfer their mRNA for informative agent. Now these informative agent transfer to the cytoplasm where they join with this machinery and prepare the protein. And then after the formation of protein, the cofactor join and then convert it into the slightly mRNA. So it is a synthesis of enzyme. Now next we take. Which is the enzyme terms? What is the product? What is the substrate? What is the product? What is the activation enzyme? Now, what is the substrate? Substrate is the chemical on which the enzyme work is called substrate. In short, we can take example that 
is that on which salivary amylase act and then convert it into the margins. So the starch is or substrate salivary amylase is called enzyme and then maltose is called the product. So single equation or the sorry single equation, we can easily understand that what is the substrate, what is the enzyme, what is the product. So the on which enzyme act is called substrate, and then the result of the substrate conversion is product. So it is substrate product. Third and last topic, which is called activation energy. The minimum energy which required by the chemical reaction to complete the reaction was it for converting the reactant into the product is called activation energy. But also activation means to activate the enzyme. Activation energy. So means the energy which required to start the chemical reaction is called activation energy. So every reaction, if we release, if we the uh, of the enzyme, if we make more enzyme is present in the chemical reaction, that time the level of activation energy, the requirement of activation energy is too high to convert the product. So it is a top range without the enzyme. So it requires lot of activation energy. But in second equation, if we use the enzyme, the rate of chemical reaction or the activation energy need become low. So here we can easily visualize that it is the demand of activation energy is high and here is the demand of activation energy is low. So it is the activation energy. Again repeat, the energy which required by the reactant to convert into the product is called activation energy. Load of activation energy, when enzyme is involved in the chemical reaction, it reduces the requirement of activation energy. If low activation energy, that means enzyme properly work and then convert it into the reactant. So it is just an introductory phase of the enzyme, in which we study about the definition of enzyme, we study about the history of enzyme, we study about the chemical nature of enzyme, and then we study about the the types of enzymes, 